I'm currently programming the um, hardwire electronics PDM, just going through some of the settings that weren't set, etc. So these are all my outputs. Um, so you can see I've got like I can't have the ECU on output one. If you go on six, I've got um, a fan. I've got my turn signals that's motored to be a hazard light on 10 and 11. So it gives me uh, various options um, on how to then activate these things. So I've got, if you go to my K and keypad and you go to say my hazard button, um, hazard button is button six. And so I go into um, button six. And what I've done is told it that um, the button state should be green whenever output 10 status is active. And so if we go over to the car and we hit the hazard button, it flashes because the lights are flashing. You can see what a light's flashing right through there. So the way that works, and I'm sorry I don't have a screen capture right now. Um, I tried to do it and I couldn't get it to work properly. I need a better piece of software. Um, if I go to my outputs and I go to my turn signal, and I go to the functions, what I'm doing is I'm saying can keep at one button six, my hazard uh, button. Um, when status equals one, meaning it's it's pushed, and it's a latching button, meaning it's pushed and it stays connected. Um, and my timer uh, is status true, then turn on the lights. And I go into the timer function here. Timers, I have a hazard timer that is on for 500 milliseconds and off for 500 milliseconds. I can change these anytime I want. Um, but needless to say, when I combine all that together, I get hazard lights on the back of the car. Um, some of the other things uh, that I'm going to be doing uh, is, um, or I have done, is prevent the uh, start button from being pushed when the car is running. Um, that wasn't set originally and I accidentally pushed it and nice big sparks and an awful sound from the flywheel. Uh, so I thought from a safety perspective, I should do that. So I've got can keypad button one starter set equals to one and can in two, meaning can bus in two, which is my engine RPM from my mega squirt. If that's zero, um, then don't let me push this button. Um, or rather if, if it's zero, let me push the button. If it's not zero, this, this function won't work. So if my RPM is higher than zero, then, and I push the button, nothing will happen. So uh, there's a lot of power, like a huge amount of power. Um, I can do all sorts of weird, crazy things like flash my brake lights uh, X number of times. We can do that with counters. And so when I go on my brake lights, when I go on my brake pedal, which activates my brake lights, I can say flash that three times and then put them on firm and full. And that way you get you know, the attention of a driver behind you or whatever. So there's a, a lot to learn here. Um, I'm, uh, I've got to go, go through all the, um, all the fuses right now. They're just set up to work, um, but I can give you an example of the fuses. If I go to um, fan, for example, um, my fan has got a high fuse of eight, a peak fuse of 30, and a peak fuse time of 2,000 milliseconds. Um, the, uh, that'll be... Um, uh, I need to tweak all these settings. They're not. They're not correct. I got to go through and see the current draw, which I can do in the monitor configuration, uh, which is right in here. So, more to come at another time.